Hello, uh, quick video showing you how to convert 30 frames a second video to 60 frames a second video. I found this guide online from uh, the Cam and Class show the other day, which shows you all the software you need to download, plus all the settings you need to use in uh, nice easy steps. But I thought I'd do a video showing you how to set it all up and uh, use. I'll put a link into, in the uh, description for everything you need. So first things first, let's install the software we need. Right, let's go into the files and install AVI. That one. Doesn't take too long to install everything. I agree. Next. Install. Finish. Uh, splitter. I agree. Next. Next. Install. Close me GUI. Next, I agree. Install finish. And last but not least, next, next, next. Install. It does say in the description to, hang on, let me just finish this. No, next, finish. It does say in the description to install uh, K-Lite K -Lite Mega Kodak Pack. But I wouldn't, I'd uh, sooner use uh, something like Lab Filters, which I'll put a link in the description, which you can get from uh, the Doom 9 website. Right, now let's get this all set up. Right, first things first. Uh, start me GUI because it'll have to do a couple of updates. Oh, and plus download and install Net Framework. Diddly diddly diddly. I'll fast forward through this. Right, one, uh, right, once uh, that's all done, click close. I forgot about that step. Right, let's start the software up again. It's going to have to do a couple of updates. Uh, uh, do you want to update to uh, latest files or latest version? Click yes. And click update. Twenty four. One more. Yay. Yeah, you can if it comes up with that file not found, just click OK. On this window, right click and check all and click import. Over and click overwrite profile. Forgot that. Uh click. Do not ask me this again. Overwrite and it'll overwrite them all. Don't worry about that, just click OK. On this window, just do the same again. Right click, check all, import, and click yes, and the software restart. And you want to click uh, yes again and update so many updates in this window again right click check all import same again right click in this window check all 
in Pope. Click yes to restart. And that's all the updates done, thank God. Right now, close this down. The thing you want to do is go into your downloads again, into this folder. And look for a folder called Tools. And plug in and copy them all. Right click on them, copy them. And go into the install folder, program files. For me, GUI. Go into that folder, look for tools, and that one there, plugin, AVI, plugin, and paste. Do this for all, continue, paste in there, you can shut that down, right, start the software up again. Right, now we have to uh, create the script. So you go Tools, AVS Script Creator. You go into Config. And where's my script? The script is in the, or on the uh, class, Cam and class website which is in step seven there. Which is that one. So I'll just copy that. Copy it out to copy that. Right, thing you want to do is click new. So I'm going to call it uh, 60 FPS, click OK, and then just copy over the top of that, you can just delete it if you want to, and just paste in the new script, like that, and go into extra setup, if you find this blanked off and you can't tick it, that means you haven't got the uh, splitter installed, the uh, Halley Media Splitter. That's the reason why that's sometimes blanked off and you can't tick it. So you want to tick uh, that one, that one, and change this to Mod 4. Click Update and OK. So that's all done. Now we can uh, import a uh, video file. So if we click there, go to videos, and I've got one sitting there ready to go. You want to click direct show source, and it gives you a little preview uh, preview window. You can shut down the preview uh, preview window and click save there and it gives you another preview window you can just close that down then all you have to do the well, thing you can do you can tweak the x264 settings if you want to but for now I'll uh, keep them as they are so you don't have to touch that if you don't want to then all you do you click Q Click Q, go into your Q, and click Start. And it wants to update a, update a package again. It'll only ever do this the once when you first start it and first install. So let that finish, and off it goes. 
shouldn't take too long, but I'll most probably fast forward through this bit. Some of these updates, it only happens the first time you run it, so you don't have to worry about them afterwards. Right, that's all done. We can uh, close that. Right, let's find the uh, video, which is that one. And that's the video, and it's... Uh, 60 frames per second thing you'll notice there's no audio right so the next step is to add the audio from the original file so I'll just close that down uh, close that oh put a shortcut in where are you you want mkv merge gui so I'll just put a pin to me start menu right start that up just click OK. Right. You can drag and drop your files in or just click add. So if I go into my videos, that's the 60 frames a second video I just converted. Video and tags. And I also want to add the original 30 frames a second video because I'm going to strip the audio from it. And add it to the new video so if I click that so the thing you want to do is untick that one which is the video but keep the audio so uh, it'll save it to the original uh, folder but I'm just going to click browse so I can rename it 60f yes and just click uh, save this only takes a couple of seconds to do click start and it's done it's added the audio from the original file to your new uh, video file click close now if I go back into me videos and it's that one there and there we have a new uh, 60 frames a second video for YouTube plus the audio all nice and smooth I hope this uh, helps and I'll put all the uh, links in the description to the uh, guide the original guide and all the uh, software you may need to use Just going to show you how to use the software a second time because the first time I showed you how to install, which uh, you had to uh, update everything. So the second run, just click me GUI, and then to load everything, you go tools, AVS script creator, and as in the first part of the video, you just click there and load your video and just follow the guide, which I showed you in the first part.